In your lecture, you took us through a storytelling exercise about names, about how we were named and the story behind our naming. And it got me thinking about something that was always relevant, but is becoming increasingly more so for youth workers today. There's a growing number of young people who are self-identifying as transgender, who are casting off their names that were given to them at birth, which don't feel authentic to them and are taking new ones. Can you speak a little bit about how youth workers might accompany these young people who are transgender specifically or other members of the LGBTQ plus community who are in many ways claiming a new identity for themselves? What are the pastoral needs and challenges and hopes for that, that community? Well, first of all, I think it's so important that the churches are affirming and supportive to youth as they are coming to terms with their identities. Um, as you know, uh, the church in general doesn't have a really good record yeah. on this. And uh, sometimes people are afraid to even speak to a pastor because they don't know if they will be accepted or rejected. Um, but I think it's so important, especially in working with youth, to stay connected, be supportive, and um, encourage people, you know, as they go through this, um, this transition time. And I think parents need accompaniment also, mm -hmm. um, because change, such a, a huge change is hard to uh, really understand and accept on some level. Mm -hmm. um, and students need um, places where they can talk about what they're going through. They can talk about, you know, what it feels like to be who they are in their mm -hmm. bodies and um, what, what it is that helps support them um, as they are going through transition um, and what it is that um, detracts from their ability to move through it mm. with confidence and, and faith. Yep. So, so important. Um, I also think, um, you know, I've heard of people when they do um, arrive kind of at the sense of a, a transition and a new identity, choosing a new name. Yeah. And I think if there could be a ceremony, mm. you know, a ritual to honor that um, that moment, um, and have uh, have people reflect and read scripture or sing hymns, and you know have a little party afterwards, mm. like as uh, we might do for for baptism or or other you know confirmation. But let this be a moment of celebration mm. and encouragement. Yeah. You know, and then there's the work of learning to use the right pronouns. Mm -hmm. Um, which again, it can be tough, but we have to keep working at it. Yeah. You know, we have to keep teaching the church yeah. how important it is to recognize um, the identity that people choose for themselves. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome.